Hello, everybody. My name is Teddy Savage, and I'm a Planet Fitness trainer, and we're super excited to be reopening clubs. And I want to let you guys know how we're creating a safe and clean environment for you guys as soon as you walk in the gym. One of the things that we've added is touchless entry, okay? So that means all you've got to do is download the Planet Fitness app to access your digital key tag. Once you've done that, you don't have to add any touch points. Just use that to check into the gym. But not only that, we've also added a multitude of cleaning stations just like this one over my shoulder. Each cleaning station is going to be equipped with not only disinfectant spray, but paper towels as well. We didn't stop there though. Our service desk team members are going to be cleaning high touch areas more frequently and we also have hand sanitizer for your use, okay? Now I'm super excited about today's workout because it's total body mixed in with some cardio and it's highlighting the PF360. This is one of my favorite areas, so let's get started, okay? Now, our first exercise is gonna be kettlebell swings, and it's awesome because it not only combines lower body strength, but also cardiovascular endurance, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a kettlebell. You guys can do this at home with anything you have at your disposal. I want you to get a nice wide base, all right? And when we do it, I want you to act like your hips are the hinge to a door. You're gonna close that door and open. Close, open. Again, you guys can use anything you have at your disposal or no weights at all. Just focus on mechanics. Here we go. 30 seconds of work, let's go. So close, open. Close the door, open the door. Remember, my axis of movement is my hips and I'm not moving the kettlebell by using my arms. My arms are just an extension. I'm actually moving this kettlebell with my hip thrust, really driving my hips towards the kettlebell. Squeeze those glutes as you come through. Good. Close, open. Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one more rep, and relax. Great job. So I'm gonna set this down to the side and we'll go right into our cardio. So for our cardio on this one, I wanna do some butt kicks, okay? So butt kicks are just like this, really engaging the hamstrings, but again, keeping our heart rate elevated. You guys ready? Let's go. We're kicking those butts. Good, bring your heel towards your buttocks and really engage those hamstrings. As I'm doing so, I'm also pumping my arms, okay? If you need a modification, just go side to side and slow that speed down. You're still engaging hamstrings and you're still elevating that heart rate, okay? Here we go, five, four, three, two, and relax, great job. Okay, so for our next one, we're actually gonna use the kettlebell to do some sit-ups or crunches, you guys choose, all right? So I'll stay with my functional accessory right here. And what I wanna do is have my heels down, legs at 90 degrees, and I want my kettlebell right here above my head. I'm gonna exhale deeply and resist coming down. For a modification, you can just do crunches right here, okay? You guys ready? Here we go, 30 seconds, let's go. Deep breath out and resist. Make sure as you do so, you engage your core by getting your belly button as close to your spine as possible. Up and resist, rolling one vertebrae at a time back down to the floor. Deep breath and down, good. Five seconds guys, five, four, three, two, up and one. Good job guys. Okay, so now for our cardio on this one, what I want to do is just a couple of hop squats, okay? So what I'm going to do is start in a little bit more than hit with the park base. I'm going to tap the ground, come up, and tap right back, okay? Now for a modification, all you have to do is just three-quarter squat, reach, come back up, three-quarter squat, reach. You guys ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. Great job. Keep your chest up. As you drop your hips, keep your eyes forward, okay? Soft landing to offset impact to the knee joint. That's very important because injury prevention is our number one priority. Keep going, breathe in, through your nose, out through your mouth. Push yourself. We're super excited to get you back in the gym, but we wanna do so safely. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh baby, that felt great, okay? So now I'm gonna transition my functional accessory from a kettlebell to a medicine ball, okay? So I'll take this back 
and grab a medicine ball. So for this one, again, you guys can use any weight you have at your disposal or no weights at all. What I want you guys to do is keep this weight here, chest height, squeeze it tight. We're gonna to extend towards the screen, back up and extend towards the ceiling. You guys got it? I'll show you from the side. Extend towards the wall, back into your chest, extend overhead. You guys ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. Extend, back in, up. Keep your elbows in tight. So that way you can keep the tension on your muscle and not your joints. Make sure your belly button is engaged, guys. Very important. And again, I'm showing you all of the functions you can use on the Synergy 360 and functional accessories. So make sure when you come back in, you explore it for yourself. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, guys. So I'll put my medicine ball right here. So for our next cardio, what I wanna do is just do a couple of jumping jacks, okay? There's gonna be 30 seconds of jumping jacks, and I just wanna be able to show you guys that any movement that we have, no matter what you choose, has a modification, all right? So for the modification, remember, we can just step laterally while keeping the hands swinging overhead, or we go more traditional. You guys choose, every minute you have is mighty indeed. Ready? 30 seconds, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four. I'm sweating. I'm burning calories. I know you guys are too. But when it burns, just smile and say, where you been all my life? Here we go. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, guys. That felt so good. So good, in fact, that we want to keep going and challenge ourselves, right, to learn more movement, but to focus on form and technique, okay? So I'll use my medicine ball, and now what I'm going to do is a couple of medicine ball push-ups, okay? Again, if you don't have a medicine ball, that's okay. You could just do a regular traditional push-up. I'll show you guys the difference. So when I do a medicine ball push-up, not only am I working my chest, shoulders, and triceps, I'm also engaging my stabilizers in my core because my body will be shaking left to right. And I need to stabilize myself by engaging those core muscles, okay? So it looks just like this. I'll have my hands on either side of the medicine ball, keeping my shoulders in line with my hands, elbows in tight, lower yourself down, and press back up. I can do it for my knees as well. Lower myself down and back up. But if you don't have a weight, you can do the same movement just with your hands down, okay? So we're here, push down, push up. Lower your chest down and come up. Here we go, 30 seconds. I believe in you guys, believe in yourself. 30 seconds, we can do it, let's go. So I'm here and I'm keeping my hands tight on this ball, keeping my elbows tight to my body and really stabilizing myself so I'm not shaking like a fig leaf, right? We're going down and we're pressing up Dropping my knees for the modification, but keeping my back nice and straight. Remember, inhale as you go down. Exhale as you press up. Good, inhale, exhale. Keep going, we got about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, great job, guys. Now for our cardio, what I wanna do is get some movement in, okay? So I'm gonna move laterally side to side, all right? Let me put my medicine ball back. And what we're gonna do now is just take three steps in one direction. One, two, three, touch the ground. One, two, three, in the opposite direction. Remember, when you touch the ground, don't bend over like this so your chest is towards the floor, but instead drop your hips, okay? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. And you can go at your own pace. Notice, I'm in a three-quarter squat, so I'm keeping tension on my quads, okay? For a modification, stand up tall and just reach, but don't touch the ground. All right, be still getting our heart rate elevated and burning calories. Keep going. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and relax. That was fun, baby. Now, working out should be fun. You should enjoy it. 
And the way that you do is by exploring different things, learning different techniques, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys another exercise using a different functional accessory. These are called bungees, okay? And with these bungees, you can do a multitude of exercises. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do bicep curls. So what I want you to do is step on the bungee and extend your legs out more than hip width. Keep your elbows to your side, just like so, and just come up into a curl. Squeeze the bicep and release. If you don't have bungees at home, use water bottles. If you don't have water bottles, use anything you have at your disposal. You guys ready? 30 seconds and go. Keeping that chest up, chin up, eyes forward, squeeze. Exhale on effort, so when you push up, breathe out as you resist and through your nose. Breathe out and release, good. Now notice, even though this bungee is not a lot of heavy weight, I'm not going super fast because I'm focusing on my time under tension and my form and technique. Keep working, got about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one, and relax. Great job, guys. I'm gonna keep my bungee here because I wanna show you guys another exercise you can do using that in a second. So right now what I'm gonna do is a couple of shuffles, okay? So when I'm doing my shuffle, I wanna have one leg forward, one leg back, and I'm just gonna hop. When I hop, I transition my legs, okay? So one foot forward, one foot back, small hop, and I transition. I just wanna keep that motion going for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we go, we're hopping. And you guys know, I like to keep it saucy, so I'm moving a little bit. And that's called traveling with your workout. Your muscles should allow you to move in all directions, forward, backward, side to side, okay? I'm pumping my arms as well because the body is connected, right? So as fast as I move my arms, as fast as I can move my legs, good. Right, modification, we're tapping. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, guys. So now I'm gonna use those same bungees right here to do a back exercise, okay? And I'm gonna do bent rows. So what I wanna do now is step on the bungee and then cross it just like so. So now I have an X with my bungee, all right? Now what I'm gonna do from here is lower my chest down, keeping my back straight, and I'll just pull those elbows back. Pull, all right? Now you'll notice the tension in the bungee changes as I lower my hands and as I drag my elbows back, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds, let's go. Squeeze and release. Squeeze like you're cracking an imaginary acorn between those shoulder blades. Breathe, exhale, inhale, good. Exhale, inhale. Keep working, guys. Make sure your form, your posture, and your technique are sound. Keep working, five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, great job, guys, okay. So I'm gonna put my bungee dat back and I'm gonna hit cardio again. Remember, we're getting total body workout in terms of strength and we're getting cardio to sustain that target heart rate zone for as long as possible. Now for this one, I'm gonna leave you guys for a second and then come right back. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm gonna backpedal all the way through and then come back forward and say hello, just like this. All right, you guys can do this in your living room if you have space. If not, just jog in place for me, okay? Ready? Go. So I'm going back. See you guys in a second. Touch. Come back forward. How you doing? Here we go. Come on back. Remember, when I'm backpedaling, I'm doing so under control. And I'm coming back forward, touching the ground. Just like we did before by dropping our hips, right? Not bringing our chest to the ground. Remember, modification. We're just jogging in place. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding job, guys. So we only have two more combinations to go, and then we're done. But we're gonna use another functional accessory, okay? So we'll put our bungees back, and we're gonna use some resistance bands. Right, so with this resistance band, this keeps more tension on your muscle than a bungee does, okay? 
So know the difference. If you really want more tension, use your resistance bands, all right? You'll notice on the Synergy 360, there's silver hooks. You can use those hooks to help you do exercises. So what I'm gonna do is take the loop and my resistance band, take it through the hook, and then take my other part and go right through that loop, all right? What I'll do from here is do some tricep kickbacks, okay? So I'll stay in this position, soft knees, hips back, chest down, back flat, and now just kick my arms directly behind me. I can also move closer and do that same exercise. You guys ready? 30 seconds, let's go. So I'm going, and this is working the triceps or the muscles in the back of my arms, okay? For it to be easier, just come closer to the synergy itself and you'll have less tension on that band, okay? Squeeze and release, keep working. Good, butt back, soft knees. Five, four, three, two, last one. Squeeze and relax. Great job, okay? So here's the cardio for this one, and it's going to be fun. We call these star jacks, all right? Now, this is a plyometric movement, so it's an explosion, but I'll show you guys a modification. So a star jack is when we have our feet closer together, sink down into a squat, and explode into a star just like that. For a modification, go from your three-quarter squat, step out to the side, back, alternate sides. You guys ready? Here we go. Sink down, explode. Soft landing is important. Explode, good. Keep going. These are star jacks, and they're super fun, yet super effective. I cannot wait until you guys come back into the gym and try them for yourself. Start with the modification. Once you feel comfortable with the mechanics, then explode. Good, five, four, three, two, and relax. That was super fun, okay? So the last exercise for strength is gonna be for our core using our resistance band, all right? We're gonna work it in this way. I really wanna work my rotational core strength. So I'll start with my bungee and I wanna take my hands and cross them on my body, okay? I'll do 15 seconds facing this way, 15 seconds the opposite way. You guys ready? And let's go. Squeeze and come back to rest. Squeeze, come back to rest. When I say squeeze, I'm really talking about my belly button to my spine. Squeeze, good. Three, two, one. Now I'm switching in the opposite direction so I can work both sides equally. Squeeze, twist, and back. Twist and back, good job. Really exhale and try to look far behind you. Five, four, three, ugh, two, last rep, best rep. Squeeze it and release. Good job, guys. Let me put my resistance band back. So once we do our last piece of cardio, we'll be done. All right. So I'm back here, guys, and as we notice, you can do all of these movements just by doing anything you have at your disposal. I use resistance bands, kettlebells, med balls. You can use whatever you have. All right, so for our last cardio, I want to travel again. So I'm going to be going that way and back. And I'll just do hopscotch, just like that same game we played as kids, okay? You guys ready? For a modification, just do it in place. Soft landing on the knees, ready? Let's go. I'm hopscotching and I'm going backwards, right? And I'm going forward just like this. I'm on the balls of my feet, guys, so that way I can minimize the impact to my lower body joints. Modification, I'm just here, in place. But again, I like to travel. So I'm going back. See you guys in a second. Coming back forward, push through. We're almost there, five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, guys. Awesome workout, right? Now let's do a quick cool down and then we're out of here, okay? So we basically worked every muscle in our entire body. So let's start from the top and go down, all right? So take your right hand, put it on your back on your left side, take your opposite hand and pull that elbow down. This is a great stretch for your tricep. Chest up, soft knees. That was outstanding, guys. Again, take your left hand, 
Reach it down to your right side in the back. Take your right hand and pull on that elbow. Guys, I'm super excited to get you guys back in the gym to utilize the 360 area, but to also see the measures we've taken to keep you guys safe and comfortable, okay? So now let's stretch our core. Fingertips together, push down like you're pushing down on a water balloon, and now extend up. And get that chest to the ceiling and feel it all along your abdominal chain and in your low back. And cascade down, grab the back of your legs, chest to your thighs, nose to your kneecaps. Come back up, inhale, interlock those fingers, and get that chest up to the sky. Hold it, exhale, come down slowly, slowly, grab the back of those legs, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee, and relax. Guys, that was an outstanding standing workout utilizing our Synergy 360 area to show you how you can do strength and cardio by exploring different functional accessories. But if your club hasn't opened just yet, don't worry. Those modifications at home using whatever you have at your disposal are just as effective, okay? Now, when you come back into the gym, like we said before, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those cleaning stations. We have disinfectant spray and paper towels, but don't forget the hand sanitizer stations around as well. Now we want to make sure that we keep ourselves clean sitting. That means cleaning down those functional accessories before and after we use them to keep not only yourself safe, but those around us. And remember, your minutes are mighty. So as soon as you finish your workout, show everybody by giving them that distance thumbs up, okay? Now I love you guys. Remember to love on each other, all right? Peace.